In this video, we will discuss about the fourth unit, flexibility method. In flexibility method, we will learn the definition for primary structures, compatibility conditions, then formation of flexibility matrices. So once we learn this, then we will try to analyze indeterminate beams, frames and truss members by direct flexibility approach. Introduction The flexibility method is also uh, known as or it is a kind of force method because forces are considered as unknowns a kind of compatibility method because compatibility conditions are used in the flexibility matrix method then consistent deformation method Actually, it is the inverse process of stiffness method. The basic unknowns or redundant forces which are equal, equal to degree of statical indeterminacy. And the as far as the redundant forces or the selection of redundant forces concerned, either we can take internal forces or external reactions as redundant forces. In the flexibility matrix method, actually we work out on the primary structure, which is a determinate structure obtained from the given indeterminate structure by removing all the redundant forces. So that structure is called as released structure or base structure or the primary structure. It relies on the concept that the behavior of any indeterminate frame including deflections can be assumed as equivalent to the behavior of the primary structure that is determinate structure under the actions of the loads and the redundant actions at the releases and remember everything within the elastic limit because the method of superposition should be possible. The computational effort increases exponentially with the degree of freedoms. So, for less number of degree of freedoms, it is very useful. We can easily do the computation manually. Otherwise, it is a very somewhat tedious job if degree of freedom is high. Now, the definition for primary structure. I already explained that the structure which is statically determinate and geometrically stable obtained by removing all the redundant forces from the indeterminate structure. That is, the given structure will be indeterminate structure. So, first we have to identify the redundant forces. Then if you remove the redundant forces from the given indeterminate structure, the remaining the structure will be a, in, a determinate structure which is called as primary structure on which we will you know, do all the steps in flexibility matrix method. And remember, while removing or selecting redundant forces, the determinate structure 
obtained from the removal of redundant forces should be geometrically stable so you can't remove any members or any forces as you were willing okay so the structure should be geometrically stable and determined this is the condition okay for appropriately selecting the redundant forces redundant forces could be member forces or members in the case of truss structure and reactions for example if you have a propped cantilever propped cantilever is indeterminate to first degree so if you remove the propped reaction then the resulting structure is the determinate one which is also called as primary structure so either you could remove the moment at support the left support then also you will get the geometrically stable determinate structure called primary structure clear next the compatibility condition it means the structure must fit together that means on the application of load the structure will not go away okay each you know members will go away from its own position that is breaking up the joints everything that should not happen so no gaps can exist that is there is no discontinuity continuity should be maintained at all the time even on the application of external load the last one deflected shape must be consistent with the constraints imposed by the supports for example if you have fixed support and we know at fixed support the rotation is zero therefore while and the you know, drawing the deflected shape we should not know have any rotation or gap or the deviation of the member at sub fixed support level at fixed support there is no gap there is no deformation there is no rotation okay but at the hinge support we will have some rotation so this kind of thing should be kept in mind while drawing the deflected shape or considering the deflected shape so these you no know, factors come under compatibility condition 